You know, I didn't know if I was gonna make a video about this whole Nintendo Labo VR situation, but I find it crazy how many people keep calling this Nintendo's first attempt at VR. Are y'all forgetting about this thing? This was Nintendo's first attempt at VR. And I think it's interesting that Nintendo doesn't seem to have learnt from their lesson. And, you know, I'm not saying that this Nintendo Labo VR is going to suck because I don't have it in my hands and I did somewhat enjoy the first set of Labo I bought until my house flooded and everything got wet and now I only have the fishing rod left. And I'm not joking about that either. I find it very ironic that the only Labo item out of that entire set to survive was the one that is supposed to go with water. <laughs> everything else got drenched. Anyway, what I mean by Nintendo not learning their lesson is because you look at like other VR that we have now, you look at PlayStation VR, you look at Oculus Rift, you look at anything, and what's the first thing you notice? The headset is strapped to the head. It's like the iconic feature to this entire VR craze we're starting to get into now. Uh, people sat there with VR units strapped to their head. You know what nobody wants to do? Press their face against their VR unit and either have to sit it down on a stand somewhere or hold onto it while you play the game, while you pretend that you're an elephant. And now, I, I, <laughs> I just want to say this one more time. I, I don't have the Nintendo Labo VR set in my hands. Maybe it's amazing. Maybe it's the best virtual elephant experience you could have in, in a, a home console setting. I don't know. All I know is when I think of VR, I think of an immersive experience where I don't have to hold on to the virtual world that's being presented in front of me. Although to be fair, this doesn't look like an expansive VR experience. I mean, you're not diving into like Fallout in VR or Skyrim in VR. You are pretending to be an elephant. Playing these little mini games on the Switch. Like a lot of people are talking about, well, how is the Switch even gonna be able to do VR with its tiny resolution and small processing power? Uh, because it's not VR VR. It's going to be like the other Labo kids. Did you play them? Did you experience them? Did you see any reviews of them? The mini games that these things play a very simple little fishing games that's honestly about 10 minutes of fun and that's probably what this is gonna be little 10 minute bursts of picking up peanuts with your trunk and it will be a really cool experience for kids which is what labo is marketed to this isn't marketed to us as adults like i know there's a lot of nintendo stuff that we all love and enjoy and play that's both for kids and adults like your zeldies and your marios now nah, even nintendo said that labo is for kids or kids at heart and it will be fun for them. They're build-it kits, essentially. They're construction kits. You're buying your kids something to do with their hands in their free time. And then they get a fun little peanut picking up experience once they've built their elephant trunk. I don't know why I'm focusing on the elephants so much. And I do like that Nintendo has seemed to listen when it comes to the kits and how much they cost and ways to sell the kits. When I reviewed the previous Labo kits, I mentioned, hey, I know you have this big variety kit that comes with all of these things and it's like 90 bucks, but what if you just sold like a starter kit that comes with a couple of little things and then you can buy expansions from there and Nintendo has done that this time around letting you buy the starter set with just a couple items and then buy the rest at your own leisure or you can buy it all at once I have no complaints about this again I'm not the demographic for it I learned my lesson with that the first time around with Labo but I do wish that the goggles strapped to your head and maybe that'll be a feature eventually but everything I've seen of the promotional material has the kids holding these things onto their face which isn't gonna be a fun experience for more than about five or ten minutes which is also what tells me that the mini games are gonna be five to ten minute experiences. But I don't really need VR on my Switch, period. Like, if we got it, I would buy it and I'd probably enjoy it, but I don't need to play any of these Nintendo games in VR. Would it be cool? Yes. Do I need it? No. Will I buy it? Yes. <laughs> Moving on from there, let's talk about Google. And I wanna talk about this because I'm kind of a tiny bit excited and I'm trying to control my expectations because we've seen companies try and worm their way into the video game market and then we've seen them be absolute travesties. The biggest one that comes to mind is Ouya. But here's the difference. We're talking about Google. 
Google has endless amounts of money. Like Google can take a loss on this project and it won't matter. Google can spend millions on this project with not much risk. Like if they lose a couple billion, they're probably like, eh, well, we tried. My point is this isn't exactly like other attempts that people have made to get into the gaming market. This is a Goliath company who generally knows what they're doing. Like Google doesn't usually take a swing and a miss at anything apart from social media platforms. Looking at you, Google Plus, terrible idea. Actually, the idea was pretty good. It just didn't work. But what that also means is their console isn't going to be like an Android, or it's a, it shouldn't be. If it is, holy crap, someone really messed up. But it shouldn't be like an Android Ouya system that just plays some mobile games and it can't really do all that much. It should be a beast of a system. And in fact, the rumors are that it's going to be Xbox One X level of quality of system, which it should be. For the money they have, if they want to get into this market, it needs to be at least that, if not better. Better because you can't come into this market fresh faced and expect to compete with an Ouya. So they have the money, they have the recognition, they have the know-how and the willpower to do this right. And Microsoft was actually in a similar position when they entered the console market. A lot of people didn't think that that was going to be successful. Microsoft isn't known for making consoles. This isn't going to work. Xbox isn't going to work. And now, Xbox isn't really working, but it did for a while before they screwed it up themselves. The 360 was a banger. I loved my 360 and it was a very successful system, arguably more successful than PlayStation 3. I don't know if that's correct to say. I think it was though, right? Because PlayStation 3 kind of blundered its start. Maybe they caught up eventually. But regardless, Microsoft has been successful in the gaming industry. There's no reason that Google can't be. Google has a conference coming up on the 19th and a lot of people think that they're going to be unveiling this system and they probably are. They've invited a ton of gaming press to come to this conference. So we're either gonna get information on the console or see some games that are gonna be coming to their console or see the actual console itself. Either way, I'll be live streaming the event so we can all either be impressed or not impressed together. The one thing we have seen is the controller, which it, it, yeah. This is going to ruin your system. I, I feel like if you stick with this controller, Google, it, it just looks extremely ugly and extremely uncomfortable. And it literally throws out all your vibes. Like it's not a good start for your system. Like you're instantly putting people on the defensive here with this controller. Maybe it's the most comfortable controller we've ever held. Like if I'd never played the 64, I would look at the 64 controller and think, what the heck is that that has to be uncomfortable and yet somehow it kind of fits in your hand. The sketched version of the controller is a pattern that was found online and the 3D model is an artist's rendition of what this might look like and you gotta imagine it's pretty close. We're not seeing the actual final product so the controller could still go in any direction. Just looking at that pattern though was already hurting my thumbs. <laughs> So hopefully this pattern that was found online is just a pattern of many, or maybe they will change their mind on the controller when they hear this feedback, or maybe they'll stick with it and it'll be a lot more comfortable than it looks, but it's not a great starting impression. All I'm saying is with all these failed gaming console attempts, it's easy to look at anyone and be like, it just, it won't work in 2019, you can't do it. Honestly, if anyone can do it, it's going to be a company like Google, it's gonna be a company honestly like Amazon, it's gonna be one of these Goliath companies with endless amounts of money that can afford to make a very quality product and throw games at it like crazy. So maybe it'll have the processing power of the Wii U and we'll see a bunch of Android games move to the system and that's about it before everyone just gives up on it. We'll have to wait and see. Oh! Oh! And, and YouTube completely shut down my Devil May Cry video because it has the word devil all over it. I probably shouldn't even say the word in this video because the algorithm will probably pick it up somehow. If you like that game, if you like DMC5 or you're interested in it, you might not have seen it shared out to you because YouTube said, oh no, 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 no worshiping Satan on our platform. Not what I was doing. Actually, it kind of was a little bit at the start, so I do understand it, but I'd appreciate you going and watching that and liking it and sharing it around. And if you saw me change the title and the thumbnail of that video like 17 times over the last couple of days, now you know why I did that. I was trying to hide it and disguise it so YouTube would say, oh, okay, that's a different video now. We'll share that one. It didn't work. Yeah.
Ah, but that's all I wanted to talk about. Labo VR, which is just interesting. The Google console, because it's something I am interested in, and I would like to see it do well. And I, I'm ready to accept the weird change in the gaming marketplace if it works. And I'm also ready to laugh about it and milk the views when everyone's disappointed at what a travesty it is. But I'd love to know your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it or you learned a little something, make sure you hit flip all over that subscribe button. Smash that like button too. It really helps me out. Leave a comment down below with what you think about all of this stuff. I love your faces and I'll see y'all tomorrow. That was weird.